You know what? I've been thinking about this aquifer again. Like I say, it consumes my very core, this aquifer. And um, I'm just thinking I'm going to get through it. But forget this. Forget this whole thing I'm doing over here with this staircase. I want to do something else. Let me just plan this. Let me just think about this. Yeah. So here's the plan. Not a very good plan, but it's my plan. So here, right? Here, here. We ignore this. This is this is done, right? We're going to pave this over and just forget about it. We're not even going to think about the amount of effort that went into that bloody thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, it's going to be a bit of a big project, this. And I'm doing this this way for a specific weird reason. It won't make much sense, and I don't even know if it makes much sense to me. But it's the way I want to do it. I hate the way when you move up these Z levels, the mouse suddenly decides to move. Okay, look at this. I'm going to dig a big hole in the ground okay it's not very fun at all let's throw another goblin into the pit just for a bit more entertainment um we could throw the etting in there I, I'm, I'm a bit worried it doesn't seem too tough but i'm not 100 percent sure we'll do this goblin archer we'll leave his armor and things on Plenty of people down here, isn't there? There's our goblin going down into the hole. Let's follow him. Yeah, I think what happens is when the archers fall down the hole, I think they do something like they shoot back up at the person, throwing him into the pit. So the person in sort of dodges and falls into the pit with them. <laughs> I don't know. They seem to get injured. Yeah, yeah, isn't too great. There you go. Anyway, a bit of training for you. Do a little diagonal corridor. It's gonna be a bit of the bit of a thoroughfare for people, I think. Bit of a big digging project. It is going to take me a while. Where's our mayor's room? Over here. Okay, right, let's get the mayor in a proper room now. Find a nice door. This door, ashen door here, is nice. And this, let's have a look. Got any nice, a nice oak door here. We'll give him like two chairs in his dining room. So, you know, he, he can entertain if he wants. People want to come in here and, you know, have a nice time. Have a meal with the mayor. I don't even know if they do that. But, you know, he's got the option, hasn't he? He's got the option. Yeah, uh, maybe he needs a, a table in his office as well. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, did I set this? An office. Except. And a dining hall. Right. And maybe while we're at it, we can put a few uh, nice engravings in here. Where was that other mayor's room? Okay, this 
gone. This gone. And get rid of these items as well. I'm going to put beds in here. Click, click. Yep, yep, yep. All good, all good. And then we need some items in these rooms. Uh, the mayor, let's give him... He needs his weapon rack. Beautiful oak weapon rack there. And his uh, armor stand. There you go. Maybe a, a chest in your dining room. And then where's the mayor's bedroom? I think this is it. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's the mayor's room. So let's do... Um, another chest in there. Something of high quality. This lovely hazelwood chest there. And then maybe uh, cabinets as well. Hmm. Now what do you actually need? Let's see. The mayor. Right, I think you've got everything you need. You've got you've got a decent study. You've got a, you need a decent dining room and decent bedroom. Maybe when these things get built, it'll bump up the quality. Maybe, maybe we should engrave the, the mayor's bedroom there. Put a little engraving in the middle of his floor. And that'll that'll be nice for him. Oh yeah, let's do rock blocks. So I wanted to make things. I, I liked that grey borax for our for our um, what do you call it? Our wall outside. Borax. Let's do that. Okay, just keep making them because, yeah, like the old Jamaica Inn in my memory i can seem to remember it having a nice gray wall outside it maybe i should get some more miners on the case i wonder if uh, uh we have got a few mm, do we need more is there any peasants just not doing anything you two you two you in the fancy hat you're a, you're a miner now a representative is visiting Oh, it's this guy. He's back again. Is this is this the same guy who was here before? I I forgot his name. Let's have a look. He always presents himself as extravagantly as possible, displaying a magnificent a magnificent image to the world. He finds helping others very emotionally rewarding. He's friendly. Yeah. He's moved by art and natural, but he sounds like an absolute delight to be with. All right. Well, you know what? Just as a bit of excitement, let's let's try, let's try throwing the etin down there. It's gonna be it's gonna be bad. Um, I don't know if he's gonna try and escape. Oh, oh my God! He, he that was quick. Attack him. Hmm. Did anyone get injured? Let's have a look at the Etin's battle report here. Okay, someone hit the axe dwarf slaps the Etin with the flat of an iron battle axe. And immediately fractures their arm with a axe blow. 
the Etin shouts out, This is a fight. I feel no terror. <laughs> Gets hacked in the leg. Um, I'm just trying to see if the Etin attacks anyone in return. I think it's just just gets hacked to pieces by all the all the all the dwarves at once. Gets smashed with a hammer. Jams the right false rib through the left lung. Ah! Oh. Then the Etin cries out, "Can it all end so quickly? Be gone, fear!" Mm -hmm. Etin starts to look sick. It's not a good time for the Etin. And the Etin scre screams out, I've been badly injured. There's no hope. Yeah, it, it makes me feel kind of bad for this Etin, really. And look at it. Look at the. Look how many attacks were just. It's, you know, in a matter of seconds, this was all the attacks that were. that were inflicted. <laughs> I've improved my fighting. That was satisfying, says the Etin, whilst being hacked to absolute pieces. On and on and on. On and on and on. That was reading that battle report made me feel slightly bad for the for the Etin. I don't know why. Just the fact that it was like shouting things out. It was sentient, you know. All right, Maya, are you happy yet? Hmm. It's the bedroom, isn't it? How about we make a statue of the mayor and put it in the bedroom? So every time he comes in, he sees a statue of himself. How about that? Okay, a rock statue. There we go. Make that. Make that thing. Make that thing for me immediately. How's our library going? I think we've still only got one book, so it's not too amazing. Oh, we've got a few more bookcases, though. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good. I don't know what to put over here. So if anyone has any suggestions for this room... Something, something public. Look at this. He's listening to music. They're just sort of they're in this dormitory, just sort of playing tunes. He's chanting. These two, these two are chanting together. This, uh, what's this human monster slayer in this uh, Wolverine man? Yeah, very good, very good. Ah, oh, filled pants is here. Your filled pants is called. Okay, good. You can join up filled pants. I know it's filled paints, by the way. Uh, actually, it's filled paints, not filled pants. I'm going to call him filled pants. Very funny. I'm very funny. Yeah. He tends to assume the worst of two outcomes will be the one that comes to pass. I hope they don't call me filled pants. That would be awful, he thought. And lo, his, his beliefs came to pass. Okay. Here we go, Thirsty. You're going to have your own statue. Oh, no, you know what? I just thought it might delete his name because last time I tried to name someone who had a statue, it, it didn't work. It kind of went funny. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens when this statue gets built. Yeah, I need to build a better stat um, a better temple as well. Yep, this is... Uh, this is... 
our temple. Amazing temple it's going to be. All right, look, at we've got a statue. Uh, it's an image of Dusim Trot Crystal. Uh, he's surrounded by dwarves. It relates to the selection of the dwarf Dusim Trot Crystal to the position of expedition leader. Oh, I didn't know he was the ex ex he began as the expedition leader of this uh, of this um, fortress. But does that now delete his name? Because so I have a feeling I tried to name someone who had a statue, and it sort of broke their name. No, he's still there. Good. What's uh, Stinkers up to these days? I haven't heard from him in a while. Has he got that fancy hat on? Yeah, look at that. There you go, Stinkers. Look at your fancy hat. I think I'm going to be jumping forward in time a lot in this episode. But it's just because I'm mainly digging a big hole and there's not much to see. But if anything exciting happens, you'll see it. But yeah, I think mostly I'm just going to be sort of digging this. Digging a big staircase and then channeling it out. So basically what we'll end up with is a massive hole here. But I think I'll also um, cover this over with some floor. Because I think that'll still count as being exposed to the, to the upper levels. Oh, we've got a mood here. Oh, someone's been possessed rather. The carpenter. Let's see if he's got all the things he needs. Looks like it. Well, we'll see what he makes. And some migrants have arrived. Well, we're getting quite a big fortress now. So it's getting quite big. Um, Yeah, nice. Should be getting some good people. I might have to start an archer squad soon. Yeah, how's this going? We're digging away the, this level. This is going to be open space soon enough. All right, onwards and upwards, or rather onwards and downwards. Oh, and here's another thing, the Guild of Winters. That's a farmer's guild. They want a guild hall. Hmm, well, that's an interesting proposition. Of course you can have a guild hall. Okay, approved. Let's get on with the guild hall then, and maybe I'll just build it above the one that we've got there. We've already got our level there, haven't we? So, uh all right, miners, if you don't mind coming along here, demolishing that, we'll have another door here. I still haven't got an idea what to put in here, but I'll try to think of something. All right, there we go. It was a willow animal trap that that person created. Let's have a look at that. That sounds quite interesting. That animal trap matched singed the incidental hollow. Um... Yeah, it's not too exciting. It's got an image of a square on it. I'm sure it's very nice, but uh, yeah, it's, I don't know if it's uh, that amazing. I like to get furniture so I can put them in rooms. Right, anyway, let's continue with our hole. Thinking about sealing this up completely. I think I might do that, actually. Um, because it's just creating a bit of a sort of I don't know it's not it's not very good basically it's not good having that there so I'm gonna create a little like bit of like a little floor covering this I'm gonna use these borax blocks that I've created And then I'm going to rebuild a staircase up. So this will all be sealed off, hopefully. Miners are getting on. Yeah, sort of. I don't know where they all are, really. Oh, they're here. Very slow process, this whole... I would really want to get the new bedrooms in as well, but I want them to do this first. Basically, I'm going to get them to do this, and then I won't really be able to do anything with this hole through the hole of, like, some spring, because all of our snow will be melted. It won't freeze the aquifer. 
and um yeah it won't be it won't be good basically i think I've, i think we i just saw two different wolverine people can i just imagine that i'm sure i saw another wolverine person there hmm also going to improve this little weird temple that i'm building down here Keep building, thanks. Yeah, this is going to be a little temple. I just wanted to have it, like, sort of nice. Any lovely doors. The chestnut door in there, that's fine. Yeah, so the temple will actually just be this area here. There you go, everyone get in the get in that space. It's a better worship space that. Yeah. And I'll decorate I'll be able to decorate that little space and make it all all lovely. There we go. Yeah. Have fun in there, guys. Alright, so it looks like we've got this area as well. So let's put the walls on. Hopefully I've got enough microclaim blocks there to build this room. Yeah. I think this I think this guild hall looks nice, so I hope uh hope the farmer's one looks equally beautiful. Yeah, and I'm gonna rebuild the stairs here so that this staircase terminates here. And if you wanna go further into the into the caverns, which I hope works, we'll eventually be going up here. And yeah, I've been thinking about something I can do with all this empty space got a little idea but i'm going to keep that secret until i until i get to it all right Hey, yeah, look, we've got another request for a guild hall. Uh, okay, the metalsmiths, the hall of oil. Okay, well, fine, the metalsmiths will get their own little room as well. Good, approved. Right, so let's uh, let's start building over here as well. No, wait, I want it to look the same as that side. Yeah, good. This will be our little... What's going on there? Resume that floor. Actually. Remove that floor. Got to remove the floor and rebuild it as something nicer. Oh, hold on. What's this going on? Some... Hey, what's happened? Hey. Why, why did someone get struck, struck down by our sword master? Hmm. Okay, so it looks like maybe the sword, the siege engineer, the siege engineer maybe tried to attack a child. Don't know. When he gets attacked by the sword master, slashed in the eye with a short sword, and that injured part is cloven asunder. Ugh. The, the the sword lodges into the wound, into his eye, basically. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know what happened. Maybe the siege engineer was crazy. But who knows why? Why were you... 
Let's have a look. Yeah, did you kill that dwarf? It looks like it. Well, I don't know what happened there. It just suddenly came up. Somebody has been struck down. What's going on? Why? Is someone going crazy and killing people? Okay, someone's... So, oh, I see. Okay, so two people went berserk for some unknown reason and they were just cut down by, I guess, by this, the military who were just standing here. Well, I don't know why two people decided to go berserk at the same time. I'm hoping no one else does. But thank you, military. What? The more fighting... I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on now. Let's... Yeah, I don't think there's actually fighting going on. I think the surgeon is talking about the things that have happened. I don't, I don't know what happened there. I don't know why people suddenly went berserk. But it looks like my military were standing by. Put a stop to that. Yeah, I don't... Who knows? Who knows? Fine. A little battle. For some reason, two dwarves went berserk at the same time. Do, 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 do. Oh, running out of microclimb blocks. Gonna have to uh, get some more made, I think. Right, I think this is nearly done, this top bit of the hole. So now the miners have got rid of that top layer of stairs. We're going to start. We're going to just cover this over, just, just to have it covered. No access. You're lying to me. You're lying. Oh, that's why. Oh, we've still got one here to dig out. Well, I'll wait for that. Hurry up, please, miners. Right. There we go. We've got a... We've got a a hole in the ground. My mouse is going crazy again for some reason. So let's put a big floor on and I'm not really too bothered about what I use here. I think I'm just going to go with just random stuff that I've got. Maybe I've, I, I could probably use all of that rock salt. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and use that. It's probably going to be temporary this. I have got a little plan, but I just want to have it covered over so there's not a big entrance into the fortress and yeah this is what i was worried about suddenly everything suddenly melting so yeah good we've got a hole in the ground yeah so it looks like we had a bit of a tussle here uh, a miner died i think what happened was a weaponsmith started throwing a tantrum and just killed the miner in his tantrum great thank you thanks for that yeah i really wanted that to happen Hey, look, the uh, the snake man's telling a story to everybody. Gather around, everyone. I'll tell you a story. Yeah, very interesting. Oh, no. A vile force of darkness. I, don't, I can't even see them on the map. Um, Where are they? Oh, here they come. Yet more archers. I don't know why they keep sending these archer squads. Hmm. Well, luckily we got our little floor sealed up. Um. Yeah, good. Just check our burrow. Incorporates this area here, so we can have our miners keep going. We're certain starting to dig down into it now. Yeah, we're near the bottom, and we've sealed this up so no one can go down into the caverns anymore. They've left the bucket there, but okay. Right, okay, once again. I want everyone. In the burrow. And we're going to do the same tactic as all every other time. 
and get our military just standing now let's just check on our military ah someone has died there let's see can we get i really want filled pants there's a guy called filled pants he seemed good yeah i can't find him Um, right, okay, you, competent hammer man. I want you joining up, and that squad's full. Good. Good. Just making sure I've got full squads there. Not everyone get inside. No one go up top to build the roofs and things. We've got snatchers. Take the horde from the snatchers. Here it comes. I've got, I think we've caught another one there. Yep, snatchers coming. Warning, warning. Quite a lot of them, really, isn't there? Well, you just come in here. You, you, you come in here and have a little snatch. Go on. Chop, chop. That's what you get, guys. And who's who's this? The human scholar. You've, you you decided to take a little stroll, have you? Gonna come out here and kill of all, all of our animals as usual. Look, why why are you wandering around? Yeah, look at them. Look at them. How many goblins are there actually on the map? Do you think, think we can take them on? Alright squad, are you ready? We're going to take them on toe to toe. No more hiding. That's not all of them, but I don't know where the other ones are. Oh, there's two here. Make sure them get the soldiers off that burrow so they can actually leave their rooms. Yeah, watch out for these guys. They're kind of keeping the back up there. But um, yeah, just killing, killing our animals. I don't think that's anyone's pet. It's just a random yak. Well, that's fine. We we didn't want that yak anyway. We're just gonna eat it. We're just gonna eat it. It's fine. Yeah, come on, military, cut them down. And then where's the other ones? They ran away in terror. You were, you were here, aren't you? Well, there's a couple of goblins up here. Don't kill the ones in the cages, please. Looks like that that goblin thief has gone away. So yeah. Just kill, just kill this one. I think that's all that's left. There might be a few stragglers, but yeah, but he's, he looks like he's injured. Is he all right? He's just he's just moving slowly. Oh, he's 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 firing at our horse over there. Random horse. No, you don't. Dead. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's find the rest of the invaders. Stop picking them off. We killed one of our sheeps. Hmm. Strange noise in my house again. Bear with me. Yeah, every time I'm recording one of these, I hear weird noises in my house. I think that might have been... Parcel coming through the front door. 
making a clattering noise. I always think there's like a burglar coming in or something. Another invader over there. Tell you what, we've got two sets of in two invaders left. Chips of polishing. You get over there, and then let's find the other invader. That one. You. Gotta get it now. Stop killing our yaks, please. Come on. Come on, tactical basements. Nice one. Where's that other goblin? Stop shooting at our miner. There we go. Nice one, miner. Oh, it's a hammer dwarf. I thought that was a miner. Hmm. What are you actually carrying? Oh, it's a war hammer. I thought that was a. I thought that was a pick. Well, I think we've. Uh, I think we've defeated the goblin threat there. Everyone else is a caged prisoner. <laughs> Good. Right. Let's just make sure we're claiming everything that's available. Look at this big pink square in the middle of the of the fort. Middle of the floor there. Yes, I do have an excellent I keep saying I've got a plan for that. I do, I really do. So uh yeah. It's all thirsty conducting look. Oh no, it did say a minute ago conducting a meeting. Just been holding a holding a meeting with this planter over something. Yeah, he, the planter felt satisfied whilst crying on somebody in charge and felt satisfied whilst yelling at somebody in charge. So, yeah, the um, people, the citizens come and yell at Old Thirsty here and she feels empathy after being yelled at and after being cried at. Hmm. Right, yeah, so... Yeah, She's basically like a, a counsellor for the for the fortress. You know, the the dissatisfied dwarves can come and vent vent their problems. Let's have a look at this petition here. Oh, another bloody guild hall. The Hall of Pages. A craft dwarf's guild. Oh, fine. Fine. Okay, well, we've had a few uh, attacks this episode, a few things going on, but mostly it's just been me digging this hole. That's why I kind of zoomed forward a bit. But yeah, basically, we've got this hole. It's covered over by a big ugly pink square at the minute. Um, I might try and do something with this, beautify it a little bit. Um, and yeah, we've just got a big empty space here that goes all the way down. Um, the lower level has an upward stairway, but that's going to go because I'm going to start channeling this away now, very slowly, very slowly and carefully, bit by bit. And then we'll have to wait till the end of summer, basically. That's when we're going to it's going to be safest to do this. Yeah, this is going to be ongoing. And um, yeah, I just sort of jumped forward a bit in this episode because mostly you would have been just watching me digging a big hole that was mostly what i did don't stand on those squares yeah digging away making a nice little channel full of water that's fine that's what we want all good Okay, but this will be next episode we'll be doing all this. Um, so you've got that fun to look forward to. Up here we've got our... This is going to be the f whatever guild. Farmer guild. Yes, the farmer guild here. Going to make this our metal workers, metal smiths. And I also need to build a craft dwarfs guild. So oh, God knows where I'm going to put all of these guild halls that they want. Um... And I don't know why, but for some reason, when I'm asking them to build the, the these ceiling blocks, they just stop doing it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. They're weird. But there we go. We've got 
we've got a big hole. That's that's basically what I've built this episode, a big hole and an empty room. So, yeah, OK, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, it looks like the goblin sieges are getting a bit tougher now. Not too tough because they're only sending their archers and we can deal with them quite easily. But um, it's the they're getting bigger in number, so they might be gearing up for a big siege. And I think this empty space. When I'm finally done with it, this is going to be something that I'm planning on doing to so uh you know it, it, this will be a defense measure i think all right anyway thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time bye bye